hundred million of us, men and women of working and fighting age. To fight this war, 10 million more people must go to work by the end of 1943. With every man utilized, we are still short millions of hands. We must call upon women. As the fate of the world hung in the balance, Connie Palacios rolled up her sleeves. All the day long, where the rain or shine. Get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, right on the bus, and they work long hours. She's a part of the assembly line. We work even on Sundays and 12 hours a day to get those planes out. She's making history, working for victory, Rosie. We were all working to do the war effort because the boys were fighting the war. Thousands of Kansas women earned the title Rosie the Riveter by building airplanes that helped win World War II. Now, 70 years after the Allied victory, Connie is still at it. These are all rivets that they have to be level. She's the last remaining Rosie the Riveter to still be working on a B-29 bomber. I'm the only one that, that is here now because I haven't seen any other Rosie the Riveters. I have talked to some when we had our, our tour, but they were in wheelchairs and they couldn't work anymore. I don't know, some might have passed away. Some are probably still at, in nursing homes, too. But Connie is still going strong at 90 years old, helping restore Doc, one of only two B-29s that'll ever fly again. In 2000, when I heard that they were going to restore this, I came to volunteer. And since I'm the only one that worked on that plane, that's why they call me Rosie the Riveter. Though she'll soon be hanging up her scarf and coveralls for good when the restoration is finally finished this spring. This thing is looking like, like a plane now. Because you should have seen it. You should have seen it when it first came in 2000. It was, we had to put coveralls and masks because it was all full of pigeon stuff in the desert. It was really bad. Then they start putting things together, you know. Sure, it's nice to see it. Connie's career as Rosie the Riveter began in 1942, commuting back and forth every day from Newton to Wichita's Boeing Aircraft Factory. In war towns all over the United States, women are called upon to leave their homes and take jobs. Connie was one of many women thrust into what was considered man's work. And she says her male co-workers were not very welcoming at first. First, they wouldn't even help me put the ladder up on the, because I had to get a ladder to get up to the plank. And they wouldn't help me. But later, later on, when they got to know me, they did help me. But at first, they were, they, they were angry, very angry. <laughs> it was even harder for some others, she says, including one woman named Jerry. Nobody wanted to work with her because you, she was black and I said oh I, I'll work with her because I am also minority. I was born in Peabody, Kansas but I my folks are from Mexico so I am of Mexican descent. Connie says she and Jerry made a great team. Our work was so good that they didn't have to that the inspectors would pass us because you have to have the rivets to be really smooth on the outside that was my job and her job on the inside was a bucker that would uh, put the, you put the rivet and then I would put the rivet gun and she would have the, the, the bar to flatten it. We became very good. The both of us, we worked together and afterwards that's why they, they had us build all the, the pilot sections that went, they went through our department. The two lost touch after the war. Connie was laid off from Boeing in 1945 and became a hairdresser. This is what they're making. Now, back working on one of the same planes she helped build, her colleagues say Connie has played a key role in the restoration. She knows more about this plane probably than anybody else. Uh, and she gets in here, she works every day, she goes back and polishes, cleans the airplane, just anything we want her to do. And uh, she's just always got that can-do attitude and 
She never let you down. The same attitude that helped win World War II while also fighting sexism and racism on the home front. That little fair can do more than a milk can do. Rosie, the river do. Rosie, 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 the river do. For Veterans Coming Home, I'm Jim Grayway. On the ocean.